Hi guys, it's Angie, and it's uh, 9 o'clock, and we're getting ready to go for our walk. Um, I didn't really have anything prepared to talk about, so uh, you'll probably get a lot of uhs and ums today. Let's go. Darn it. They did some cleaning up around here, looks like, which is a good thing. It's kind of chilly out here this morning. <clears throat> so, uh, remember yesterday uh, we had gotten these notices on our doors about uh, something being wrong with the water. And, uh, <laughs> me and my paranoid ass uh, I'm all running water in the bathroom and in the kitchen you know with my glass and inspecting it because I don't know what's in our water I mean I I don't buy um, bottled water so I drink uh, I drink tap water and so when they tell us, you know, that something might be wrong with the water, uh, kind of gives me a reason for pause, if you will. I don't know which way I want to go today. Uh, I guess I'll go on around, stay on base. Not that it matters. Um, it's kind of like a pick your poison. But, um, uh, yeah, we'll stay on base. So yesterday, uh, you know, it was my first video in about a week or so. And the walk went pretty good. When I came back, I had um, that package from Amazon, which was basically just uh, um, antihistamines, those uh, allergy tablets. They're little pink tablets. Uh, Benadryl. There you go. <laughs> but I don't get uh, I don't get the actual Benadryl because that's a little bit more expensive. So I just get the generic uh, 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 antihistamine. And I get those because, uh, I don't know, over the past two years, remember last year I had that really bad cough and um, it turns out, well, my doctor said that it was uh, allergies because I get the coughing. Um, well, now I get, I don't get the coughing fits like I did last year, but I still get the coughing and it's mostly in the mornings, you know, upon waking. And so I guess all of that crud or whatever that builds up in my system when my body's resting uh, wants to 
somehow get eliminated from my body. So, you know, I have a lot of sneezing and coughing and stuff getting caught in my throat. And so uh, what seems to relieve the symptoms is the, uh, the Benadryl or the antihistamine. And so I like to keep that on hand in addition to uh, um, my, um, uh, what am I thinking? My um, last year when I had that allergic reaction and my hands were itching and my tongue swelled up or swole up, whatever the proper English is. And so <clears throat> I happened to have um, those pills on hand and I know that, you know, Benadryl is good for uh, when you have reactions like that because basically when um, when the paramedics did arrive, you know, they said, what did you take? I showed them what I took and, you know, that it was having this effect on me. And so they said, well, we can give you some Benadryl. And I'm like, well, I already took a bunch of that. And so they said, well, you know, you just kind of have to uh, wait and let your body, uh, you know, uh, let your body start to let the medicine uh, absorb into my system. And then eventually that's what happened, but it takes um, maybe 30 minutes to an hour uh, for it to finally get into my system and start to reverse the reaction of of, you know, what I took. And I think what I took was uh, something to uh, help lose weight. So after I had taken that stuff, I said, well, the only way really to, to uh, lose weight is to get out here and do the work. Now I'm, I'm gonna stop right here because I think I took off a little bit fast. I've never been that way. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go that way and see, see where it leads to. All right, let's get these stairs. I wanted to, uh, here. I wanted to um, make sure that I got at least 30 minutes. Yesterday I got 28 minutes. Good morning. <laughs> so I got 28 minutes and I want to get a full 30 which means I'm going to have to either walk slower <laughs> Or uh, maybe I could uh, go up. I think I'm going to go up that hill. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go up the little hill, the one over by um, the Woodley entrance. That'll be better for me. So, uh, I didn't get on Netflix yesterday, but I did end up watching uh, Gordon Ramsay. And uh, right now I'm watching uh, Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> and uh, it's uncensored. So, you know, you get Gordon Ramsay uh, really going in on these people. And, you know, they're competing for, uh, they're competing for a job, basically. And I think part, part ownership, maybe not part ownership, but he did say 
that they would uh, share in the profits of, you know, whatever particular restaurant he's got going. Uh, Cause he's always, sorry guys, I'm taking off my sweater. He's always building something or got some kind of restaurant situation going. And so uh, I am on, wait for this guy. I am on, um, see, there's some seats, well, I've seen them all, but they're always nice to watch, um, you know, the reruns or, you know, watch them over again. Anyway, so uh, there's some seasons I won't watch because I don't like specific uh, contestants. I don't like their attitude. And I just, you know, they're just not entertaining to me. So a couple of seasons I won't watch. <sighs> anyway, so I think I'm watching season seven. I just finished season four. And uh, there's a contestant on that one I didn't like also. But, um, you know, some, so oh, look at that. Wow. This is a Harley Davidson. Can you guys see this? Wow, it's pretty. That's something that I could probably drive. It's got three wheels. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so um, this particular girl, her name is Jen. And, um, you know, she got a stank attitude. And of course she thinks she's gonna win, she's the best and whatever. But the reason why I went ahead and watched that one was because um, in that particular one, no, you go ahead, go ahead. I'm not walking. <laughs> um, in this particular one, she, um, she, she gets kind of a, you know, he tells her off. And that's what I like to watch. I like to watch him get told off and put in their place. You know, cut them down to size. So, so yeah, I ended up watching that one. That was season four. So next, I think I'm gonna watch season seven. There's one, uh, there's one season where they have this guy who uh, really got up in Chef Ramsey's face because uh, Chef asked him like who they nominated um, to be eliminated off the show and usually he gives them the option to nominate two people. And so, you know, they try to be strategic and they'll nominate somebody who they think is better than them and then, of course, the second person would be, you know, somebody who's not doing a good enough job for the team. And so this one guy, you know, the chef will ask you, like, who you nominate and why. And so this one guy, you know, he's real cocky. You know, ah, I nominate so-and-so and so-and-so, and they know why. And he's like, no, I didn't ask you all of that. I asked you to tell me why. This is crazy. Anyway, so he gets up in the chef's face and, you know, I'm not scared of you. I'm not a punk bitch. And, you know, it's not even about that, dude. You're on here to get a job from him. I would never talk to my potential employer like that. I mean, you know, he's not making smart moves at all, dude. Anyway, he got kicked off the show. But I didn't like the way he got up in Gordon's face. Because I have a lot of respect for Gordon Rams. Even though I don't know him, I have respect for his craft. And, you know, I always, I always try to think that I'm a, that I'm a chef. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I get in the kitchen, you know, I pretend that I'm a chef. I try to, I'm not a chef. 
not by no means at all. I, um, <sighs> you guys see all these people? Y'all can't see them. <laughs> anyway, so I was saying that, you know, I get in there and I try to learn and do what he does. I can't really afford some of the stuff he cooks, like truffles and, you know, that halibut fish and beef wellington, all that crap. I can't afford that. <laughs> so I pass on those. I hope you guys can see these people walking. It's some people ahead of me. And uh, what's going on is, uh, I told you guys that this is no longer a smoking campus. And so folks are not allowed to smoke on post. They have to, you know, go go off post. And uh, wait a minute, they going into the house. What are they doing over there? Lord. Mm. I don't know what they're doing over there. I'm not gonna go over there and find out. Oh, wait a minute, that, I think that's that building. Um, that's that building that we passed by on Woodley. Anyway, so what I was saying was, so now the people have to walk off base. And um, this is probably uh, the closest exit uh, to where they are. We don't have just a walkway entrance or exit. Um, everything is including vehicles. So every entrance that we have has an, a pedestrian entrance, but this one, this one doesn't have a pedestrian entrance. It's just the gate. Remember that time we came this way and I was like, oh shit. Now we have to walk all the way back around because we couldn't get in right here. That was on a Saturday morning. So, um, yeah, so um, what it looks like now is at every entrance or exit, um, you see a group of people smoking cigarettes at every single one. Maybe not a big group, but you know, large enough. And so we're gonna try to get over here. We don't wanna get hit by a car. I hate coming this way. They need to get some walkway up here. All right, this is the hill I told you guys about. So, let's go up this way. Just to get a little, uh, a little, little strength training in my legs. Yesterday, after I got done walking, maybe an hour or so, my shin, well, the back or the side of my shin, I guess my calves, anyway, uh, it started like twinging or something. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it bothered me because um, there was not enough, uh, you know, fat or whatever you call it, skin or, it was just muscle. And so I wasn't able to, uh, you know, kind of massage the muscle that I, the way that I needed to, to get a little bit more, not feeling, but just to relieve the twinging that was, uh, that was happening and it lasted for a little bit maybe maybe 30 minutes or so I tried stretching my leg out I tried elevating my leg and uh, none of that was working so oh Jesus let me stop mm. Wow, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna make it up all the way up this hill. There's somebody sitting at the bus stop. 
Anyway, so uh, I uh, it ended up stopped hurting, so that was a good thing. But uh, my whole issue is, uh, did it come from uh, my walking? Because I was definitely, you know, trying to get my walk in yesterday, but we didn't do the hill. And that was, I think, the reason why. Good morning. So, um, yeah, so we didn't do the hill, but I did walk at a pretty, a pretty fast pace. And uh, I think that's what did it. So this doctor, I mean, this dog, I wonder if they found it yet. Wow. They're still looking for the baby dog, Max. <sighs> All right. Lots of people out this morning. Y'all know I don't like that. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, one thing I can say is that uh, I don't see as many people at this time of day as I did when I was getting out at 6.30, 7 o'clock. So that's, I guess that's good. Okay. All right, so we got, uh, got Thanksgiving coming up since we just finished with lab uh, Labor Day, <laughs> uh, Veterans Day. So, uh, I think, I think what I'm, what I'm going to do, I've been trying to set the stage for, um, Thanksgiving because honestly, I really don't want to go. Uh, problem is, uh, for some of my family members, this is the only time I get to see them throughout the year. And so that would be, <clears throat> I think that would be the, the, the saddest part of it. Um, Yvonne and Mary, I only see them once a year. And, and, and um, I would say Mr. Lando too. Um, sometime during the year, Brittany might bring him over, but I don't, I hardly get to see him either. So, uh, you know, I guess him too. But Brittany and her father, I see them all the time. And, uh, well, it's not as uh, urgent, you know. But <laughs> I don't want to say out loud why I'm having an issue with uh, Thanksgiving on the other side of town. Well, not the other side. It's about 30 or 40 miles away. And you guys know I have to ride in the car with whoever's driving. And uh, I got that, that anxiety because it's always traffic, always traffic. There's traffic going and there's traffic coming back. And uh, basically uh, that part I, I can't stand because it takes a long time and I have to sit around with my eyes closed or my head in my cell phone so I don't see what's going on in traffic. And uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, I have to worry about the, my loved ones the, after they drop me off and uh, on their way to pick me up, I have to worry about them in traffic because that's just what I do. And then last but not least is the food. Uh, that man is walking so slow. 
I'm trying not to be behind him, but he's walking so slow. I don't know what he think he's going to accomplish walking that slow. But uh, the last thing is the food. And, you know, there's always turkey and some kind of a beef. Sometimes he gets prime rib. And sometimes he gets uh, brisket. And, and I like that part because... Um, he doesn't do too much to the meat. Um, he, you know, he just puts a little seasoning on it and uh, sticks it in the oven and he lets it roast for however long it needs to roast. My problem is the turkey because Mary, uh, <laughs> uh, Mary likes to uh, wrap her turkey in bacon which you know whatever go ahead wrap your turkey in bacon and um, she says that um, if you wrap the turkey in bacon she says that it's supposed to keep the turkey moist or whatever and usually that doesn't work she uh well <laughs> oh, I don't know how to say it without sounding mean <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into it but um you know I, I can I can have dinner at home and maybe FaceTime with them. Uh, you know, there's nothing anybody can do about the anxiety. You know, I, uh, last year, um, they picked me up at, what was it? Uh, I don't know, nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then, you know, we got back to the spot. So, now, what I understood was that Brittany, her father, and uh, Lando, Brittany's fiance, were going to, uh, you know, put the dinner on and then everybody bring the food back to Mary's house and then we would all enjoy Thanksgiving Day together. That was my understanding. But what ended up happening was Yvonne dropped me off he went back to his place, and so it was just me and Mary there until about four or five o'clock in the evening when Brittany and the rest of the family came. And, <laughs> and so I had to spend all that time with Mary. You know, and well, Bottom line is, I don't want to spend that much time with anybody. That's like a work day. And that wasn't really what I had plans for at all. I mean, I could have been at home all that time. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't want to spend all day. No, 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 no. She's not even, well, I'm going to say she's not even my family, but, you know, I plan on spending Thanksgiving Day with my family. It's always been that way. And so, you know, I, I just, I didn't like it. Anyway, so uh, hopefully this year everybody's got the, uh, the notion or the idea that I'm not coming to Thanksgiving dinner because I don't want them to do what they did last year and I'm not <coughs> pardon me I'm not blaming anyone but I don't want to one, you know, once I get in one place, I don't have a car. So it's not like I can 
you know, go to the store or go to the park. They live close to the beach. I guess I could do that. But uh, I gotta slow down. But uh, for the most part, I don't want to spend, I wanna spend Thanksgiving all day with my family, not with, you know, a friend of the family. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Because, you know, Mary is family. Well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I, oh, fuck it. Just change the subject. Okay, so, let me see. I gotta find something else to talk about. Uh, oh, well, I still haven't heard back from the Social Security Administration about my disability status. So I'm hoping that I'll get good news for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Because uh, I'm tired of worrying. I guess now would be a good time to try and uh, figure out a plan B. <sighs> plan B would be good. Um, trying to think now, like, <sighs> what would plan B be? <laughs> um, I guess, well, there are options that I have. Um, they're not the best options, but as far as an income, you know, I need to have it. They got a lot of animals that are, seems like missing or something. Oh, they're working on some houses and everything. Good. Oh boy. All right. We're back in here now. Oh. Oh. Oh, my little legs. I've really got to uh, get them not back in shape. Just knocking off. Uh, all that excess. I heard somebody say when you when you lose weight, everything seems easier to do. <coughs> I don't know how true that is. But if that means that when I get down to 170, 150 pounds, that this walk will be easier. Maybe that's what they mean. Uh, there's a young girl on uh, one of my little ratchet programs that I watch, Love and Hip Hop. And, um, you know, I say little girl because you all seem like kids to me. But um, her name is April Jones. And, um, she um, she dated um, uh, one of the members of the group B2K, which is an R&B group. And uh, she had a couple of children by him. And then they broke up. I don't know if they were married or whatever, but she did have children by him. And uh, so now, She's dating one of the other members of the group, uh, the same group, and she's on the internet talking about how great this new boyfriend's sex is compared to 
uh, the guy that she was with before, the father of her children. And, you know, I'm just going to chime in and say, first of all, why would you get on the internet and say something like that if you weren't truly trying to be shady towards the father of your children? Nobody cares what that man's sex is like. Nobody cares what the other guy's sex is like. And so it's very interesting that she would choose to give that kind of information to total strangers. Good morning. Um, so now apparently, well, you know, people, what they do is when they get your personal information, they take it and they run with it. I meant to go the other way. <laughs> I didn't want to take the shortcut. I wanted to go the long way. That man distracted me. Anyway, so, uh, so now they're saying she's pregnant with the new guy's child. And I don't get these, these girls out here nowadays why they would want to have a child by all these different men. Jesus Christ. It's, it's like you're being so selfish. That kid's got to grow up and be an adult. And we're not setting good examples for them. Something smells good. Somebody is cooking and it smells good and I'm hungry, but I can't eat yet. I practiced, I'm starting to practice this, this uh, procedure, procedure, habit, whatever. But I'm only eating one meal a day. The rest of the day I'm drinking water. So I'm gonna see how that works. But it doesn't help when I come out here and somebody's cooking. We're gonna have to go in, guys. I got a lot to do. you guys thanks for walking with me I guess I should I should start uh, I should continue to uh, make my little post-it stickies of subjects to talk about otherwise I wind up rambling on and on and on so at least oops at least with the, my little list I have structure. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!